Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful circular colorful earrings with a sunny edge done with seed beads. I have a similar video with circular stitch that I share a simple formula on how to make these circles work uh, and look beautiful and I have it here at the eye icon and down there in description and I've done this similar but with a little difference and the number of seed beads in each circle is the same in both those videos. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week with my new tutorials. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check the other useful resources like the mentioned videos, my earrings playlists and so on. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 seed beads and here I'm using 8 0 beads, just two of them. And uh, don't worry if you don't have so much colors, you could do it with less colors. Let's say use only one color of green instead of three and use only orange instead of orange and yellow or uh, only white instead of white and yellow and it's up to you to decide you could do it with less colors definitely okay so uh, here i'm using nemo nylon thread which is 0.2 millimeters of thickness or size d you could use monofilament or fireline for this project they all work here i'm using size 11 beading needle you could use size 12 or 10 uh, it's up to you and here I'm using scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I will start my work by picking up eight of these beautiful white beads. Okay, and I have my eight white beads here and I'm going to slide those down. Stick my needle in my mat and here what I wanna do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull in this way I make surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and it is really secure and I want to repeat one more knot just to be sure it's all nice and tight now you could go and reinforce this work one more time this beautiful circle Okay, and now guys, what I want to do is put a central bead here in this circle and I will put one of these eight-o beads and how I'm going to put it, I'm exiting out of this bead and I want to go uh, through the opposite bead here and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. How I find the opposite, I count one, two, three and the fourth one is my opposite, okay? And I go like this. Okay. Now I have this and I will start my next row. And for my next row, I'm taking a dark green bead and I'm going back in circle through this bead I'm exiting out of. Okay, just like this. Then I'm doing it again. I take one. And I go back here through this bead. Then I go in the next one. And I repeat. And if you want, you could also go through the following bead. In this way, you will save time. Okay. 
Now guys, I will show this process faster until the end. Okay, and now I have this. You see, here I had 8 beads and now I also have 8 beads. But I don't like how they sit. That is why I want to make a solid circle of beads here. That is why I'm going back through one of those green beads. And I'm going to fill those gaps. Okay, I'm adding one. And up to here, it's absolutely the same as my circular earrings. Where in each row, I double half of the beads of my previous row. Here in this row, by the way, I double all of the beads. But in my next row, I double half of them. And then I double one third of them. And then I double one fourth of them. But if you want more on this type of doing circles, uh, just watch the video that you see here. Now I will continue explaining what I do here in this present work. Okay, now I fill the gaps. And now I'm going to start my next row. And for my next row, what I need to take are two light green beads. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going through those two beads. Like this, in circle, you see. And I pull. Just like this. Then I go back through these two light green beads. Let me remove my finger just to see. I go back like this. Then in my next step, I take the middle green color. Okay. And I go back here through these two light greens like I did before. Then I go back again. And now I will add two more rows one with orange beads and the next one with yellow beads okay now i have this i'm not very much satisfied with the results and how this thread shows that is why I will go one more time through all of the beads and make them stay nice and tight okay just like this now I have this okay then in my next step I'm going through the following two dark green beads and I'm going to repeat the same process two light greens go back in circle here you see then again through the light greens okay like this then middle green okay then again through this screen i'm removing my fingers to see sometimes i forget to remove my fingers and you say that it's not clear enough so i'm doing it now okay orange and then i go here and i take yellows okay Now, what I do is that I want to go one more time 
through all of those beads in this direction. In this way, I'm tightening them, them up and I'm also going towards the center of my work where I want to continue with the next similar row and I do it by go in the next two green beads like this. I take light greens and from here on guys I'll let you do this by yourself and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row you see and i will repeat the familiar steps if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video see how i do these first colorful elements that are sticking out and then repeat them until you have eight elements you know you work correctly if you have eight elements because i'm attaching them to every two seed beads from the dark green row and there are 16 so i need to have eight sticking out okay and now what i want to do next is go through these green beads and change directions don't worry that you're changing directions this is what we want to do and now i want to connect the light green beads in this row with just one dark red bead okay when I do this, the model behind the circular earrings that you are seeing here and down there in description is working because the number of beads that I have at each row, I mean this one, this one, this one, and after that, the next ones is working. And if you want to see more, check it out. If not, just continue with these explanations and with this work and in my previous row I had 16 beads the dark green row and here in this row I have 24 beads then I will have 32 beads and so on and so on and this mathematical mo model behind mathematical formula is working okay now I will continue this until the end and we'll show you the next row. Okay, now I want to go through the middle green color. And here what I want to take are two dark reds this time. And I'm going here in the middle green. Okay. Then I'm taking two more and I'm going in the middle green. Okay, and two more go in the middle green. Okay, and continue this work until the end and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. And I'm going through these middle green beads. Okay. Then what I want to do is exit through the orange bead and again change directions. I'm changing direction in each row. And now what I want to take are three beads. Dark red, white and dark red. Okay, this is what I have here. And I'm going in the orange. Okay. Then again dark red a white and a dark red and again i'm going in the orange and i will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay three beads and i'm going here in the orange beads okay I will continue this and I'll meet you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do is go through these 
two yellow beads okay again changing directions and here what i want to take are four dark red beads okay and i'm going through the yellows okay four of them just like this then i'm taking four more okay And again, for I'm showing you three times and I'm letting you do this by yourself until the end. When I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to finish this earring. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. And when I pull, I have this beautiful circle that is the same like the video I mentioned in the beginning with the circular mathematical formula that you could see. Okay, so now I'm exiting out of the first red bead here and what I want to take are five yellow beads. Okay, I'm taking here five yellows. Okay, five of them. And I'm skipping the middle two red beads and I'm going through the next red, the two yellows and the next, the first red of my next four reds. Okay. Now I have this. Now here, what I need to take are five yellows again. Five. I skip this one two beads and go through the fourth one here and if you want in one movement you could go through the next four beads. This fourth red bead, the next two yellows and the next red. Okay. And pull. Okay. Again take five yellows and skip these two that are on your way and then go through the next four okay now i have this and i will continue this until the end and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last beads from this row Okay, like this now what I want to do is make an edge here how I do this I go through these two first yellow beads I skip this one that's in the center and I go through the next two yellows and through as many beads as I can in this direction after that so when I pull this bead should pop up in this direction if not just help it a little bit and it will form a nice angle here okay and i think you get this idea and i will repeat this angle everywhere through all of my beads and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm making my last angle here okay then what i want to do is exit at the top here out of the first angle that i did let's say i'm exiting here okay and now i'm going to take my earring finding and I will take, let's say, the middle green color, then my earring finding, then again the middle green color here. Then what I do is that I go back here through this yellow bead, just like this. Okay, now what I want to do is reinforce my work.
and after that it's time to find the place and cut my thread that is really short at this point okay so now i'm making here a loop and i'm going once and i'm going second time through this loop i've made i pull then i'm going through some beads in this direction you could repeat this knot several more times if you want and when you're ready go through the following seed beads and then cut your thread as close as possible to your work and now my circular earring is ready okay guys and now my circular colorful earrings with a sunny edge with and done with seed beads are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks, where, by the way, you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And you will find other useful resources like the similar video with the circular stitch that I'm showing and I mentioned several times in this video and other playlists and videos as well. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.